Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem, check for balance tree. So it's an easy level question and has been asked by companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Walmart. And to be honest, this is a really easy question. It's just that we need to put the things that have been asked in the terms of code. All right. So it's, 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 that, uh, it's the only task that's been given to us and that we need to do it uh, successfully. All right. So what is the question? Given a binary tree, find if it's height balanced or not. And the height balance definition is also given. A tree is height balanced if difference between heights of a tree of heights of left and right sub trees is not more than one for all nodes of trees. All right. So this is the question. Uh, we'll be getting into deeper uh, things uh, uh, with the help of a notepad. Uh, as of now, this is a question. You can see the example one like one the left side is two and two's right side is three and this is zero that is false it's not a height balanced the reason being the max difference in height of left sub tree and right sub tree is two which is greater than one so for the left sub tree of uh, one the height is two right and for the right sub tree of one there is nothing in the, to the right of uh, one so it would be zero so two minus zero would be, which is equal to two and which is greater than one it must be one or zero that is the only thing so for this case it is actually true we'll see why is it true and all and these are the constants that are given and expected time complexity is o of n and auxiliary space is o of h all right so this is the code that has been given to the, uh, in the compiler like i have uh, coded it already so <clears throat> we'll go into deeper insights and uh, for your information, the codes in Java and Python are there in the uh, GitHub repo, whose link is in the uh, description. So you can just find it out there. So we'll go to the explanation now. We'll do the explanation part now. So I'll be taking the example. One, two, three, four, five. This is a balance tree. The reason being, so the left subtree of uh, one, that is this, this, right? and the right subtree of one that is this from here the height that we can get uh, is very evident that is two from here the height that we can get is one so the difference between these two that is two minus one absolute of two minus one which is equal to one and it is satisfying the condition so for one it is satisfying the condition all right for one it is satisfying the condition we do not know if it is actually satisfying for two as well as three uh, two and three as well so even we need to check for that that is what it has been given so in the question it has been clearly mentioned that it if difference between heights of left and sub tree uh, left and right sub trees is not more than one for all nodes of trees okay so we need to check it for every node so we have done uh, some, uh, we have successfully checked for one now let us check for two okay so two uh, left sub tree of two this is this right sub tree of two this is this and the height that is being getting this is one and this is one and here the difference is mod of 1 minus 1 which is actually 0 and yes it is also satisfying so 2 is also satisfying right 2 is also satisfying now let us individually see on 4 and 5 this is also important like every node right so for uh, 4 4 there is no right uh, uh, there is no left subtree there is no right subtree so here the difference is mod of 0 minus 0 which is equal to 0 so 4 is also satisfying all right 4 is also satisfying same is the case with 5 as well so here as well there is nothing like uh, left subtree and right subtree for 5 so here as well we'll be getting mod of 0 minus 0 which is equal to 0 so 5 is also satisfying so 1 satisfies 2 satisfies 4 satisfies 5 satisfies now only thing that is remind to check is three so three same similarly it doesn't have any left subtree and right subtree so the mod of zero minus zero which is equal to zero and even this is satisfying all right so every node satisfies every node satisfies and in return uh, we can say that this is yes this is a balance tree because each and every node satisfies the condition that has been given to us what is the condition that has been given uh, let me write that in words um, so the condition that has been given to us is condition that has been given to us mod of h of left subtree minus h of right subtree must be less than or equal to 1 all right less than or equal to 1 in the sense what are the possibilities either 0 or 1 right and it must be like this must be satisfied by all nodes of the trees all nodes of the tree okay all nodes of the tree this must be satisfied by all nodes of the tree that's it so 
there is a work that has been assigned to us right and we need to check that for each and every node so the best concept that can be used here is recursion why because we know the task that we need to do we know we know the task that we need to do we know that we need to end this task at some point and we know that point when is that point when the head is null when the head is null will be returning zero right will be returning zero because that is the end point we know the end point this is the end point right this is the end point and we know the task that we need to do or the formula or we can say the repetitive task that we need to do so the best thing the best concept that we can do is use the concept of recursion because we can do that task on this first node that root node and we can give that to the compiler to do the rest of the things to do the checking on two to do the checking on three four and five it will do the uh, repeated to task on those things we need not do it all right and we know when to end this is the case when we need to end when the head is actually null we need to return zero all right so how are we trying to do this so first this is the thing that has been given bool is balanced so if root equal to null so if the initial tree itself if the initial tree itself it's like null there is no node here it's just null then we can return true return true because there is no there is no right subtree there is so there is no left subtree there is no right subtree so here the absolute difference is zero and even it's the only node that's there so we can just return true so this is the base condition for that okay this is the base condition so int left height height of root of left so we'll see this uh, in in uh, later uh, how are we doing this we have already covered this in the very first video of my of this series you can check that out if it will be available in the i section as well and int right height that is height of root of right so here we are calculating the left subtree right left subtree left subtree height we are calculating it and we are calculating right subtree height right subtree height all right right subtree height and what is the condition that has been given that is what we are checking here if absolute difference of left height minus right height is equal to zero or absolute difference of left height minus right height equal to one so either of them must be passed right it can be zero or it can be one and and is balanced root of left so we need to check the same condition on left on our left node as well as right node as well so because the important thing that is there we need to do it on all nodes of the trees so all nodes of the trees must satisfy this condition so we are doing it on root of left and root of right and that is the reason we are putting n all right so it must satisfy it must satisfy there is no doubt in it all right if it is satisfying then we'll be returning true nor written false that's it so this is how it is very simple code we know the task that we need to do we know the point that we need to end uh, at which point we need to end so we have, we have mentioned this this is the end point this is the end point this is the repetitive task all right this is the repetitive task that is that that has to be done by us so we have done it on the initial node and we have given it to the uh, compiler to uh, program to do the rest of the things on the left and right side all right so that is what is being uh, written here and what is the height how are we trying to find so if root equal to none that is written zero right so if this is the end point so we gonna return zero we gonna return zero right there is nothing left to it there's nothing right to it so only this is the end point so we gonna return zero and return one plus max of height of root of left and height of root of right so this very basic example so if i just see here so one i'll be asking the height of uh, months uh, like here i'll be writing one plus max of that i'm getting from h2 and h3 what is h2 h2 is from 2 h3 is from 3 right so let us assume here the height that has been giving uh, that we are getting is 2 from here we are getting 1 right and so height is basically nothing but the farthest depth that we can go the farthest depth the farthest depth that we can go so that is basically nothing but maximum of what my left child can go and right child can go so three can go only up to one level right there is only one level difference and two can go up to two level because its height is two so maximum of these two plus one because one is contributing to the level right one is contributing to the level so this is one first level this is second level this is third level so two is actually having two levels and one is actually in the first level so in total there are three levels so that is the height of the tree so it's basically one plus maximum of what my left child is going and my uh, right child is going i'll be taking the maximum of both and i'll be adding one because that contributes to the my present node level that's it so this is how we'll be calculating the height i've already explained this in the first part first video you can even check it out if you want so this is how it will be calculating and roof fruit equal to null return zero that's the end point so this is how we are doing it so we'll just submit the code for your reference and uh, yeah it's working now uh, it's getting evaluated 
yeah so it's been passed so this is how we can do it very basic question very easy question it's just that we need to put these things that has been asked in terms of code that's it and we need to do uh, give the repeated to task to the recursion all right so basic things we have done we know the end point we know the task that we need to do and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video for your information the codes in c++ java and python have been uploaded in the github repo and that link is being given in the description you people can watch it uh, later so thank you for watching stay tuned